All right. Um, we come up with a statement. Governor Sarah Palin, Palin did attend Wasilla Assembly of God since the time she was a teenager. She and her family were a part of the church up until a 2002. Since that time, she has maintained a friendship with Wasilla Assembly of God and has attended various conferences and special meetings here. This June, the governor spoke at the graduation service of our School of Ministry, Master's Commission, Wasilla, Alaska. Wasn't that a good meeting when she came in June? We had some inquiries into Governor Palin's beliefs. We do know that Governor Palin is a woman of integrity. She, she is a servant of the people. And she is a strong leader. <clears throat> now, as for her personal beliefs, Governor Palin is well able to speak for herself on those issues. Now, as Alaskans, we are excited about our governor being selected as the nominee for vice president. As residents of Wasilla, we are ecstatic about one of our own being thrust in the national forefront. However, as a church, it is not appropriate for us to endorse any one candidate over another. As believers, we are reminded in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 13, that we are to submit to those in authority. And 1 Timothy 2, 1 and 2 tells us, pray for those in authority. This we will do no matter who is elected. We wish the best for Governor Palin and Senator McCain, as well as Senator Obama and Senator Biden. May God continue to bless America. That's our statement. <clears throat>